when you go overseas, you're the guy. Yeah. No. When you come here and it's like, we got four middles who can all play really good. I got to be able to be content whether I go to the Olympics or not, whether I'm starting or not. Represent Bay to Bay. That's right, baby. <laughs> Man, great to see you play this weekend. Oh, yeah, Bay Area boys. And what that's up? right. Represent Bay to Bay. That's right, baby. <laughs> so, man, I got so many questions. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, good. Was this your, yesterday was your first uh, Anaheim VNL start. Yep. And, that's like, what answer. was that like for you to give, be given that opportunity? Like, home fans, pressure, all that yeah. stuff. Like, how do you approach that? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. I mean, I'll tell you what, dude. Like, the, the middle the middle race right now, inner team. I mean, this is one of the, the toughest parts. When you go overseas, you're the guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. You come here and it's like, we got four middles who can all play really good. Yeah. And I love this team too, and I love these guys. So it's this weird, like, I love you, and I also want to be starting, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of pressure. And yeah. to only have got to start one game this week, it was like, I wanted to play good. Because yeah. it's like, you play get bad, maybe someone jumps over mm -hmm. you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I had a lot of pressure. The night before I went to bed, I'm not a religious man, but I was like, you know what, dude? I'm like always, I'm a humble guy, so a lot of times I'm like, ah, that wasn't that good, or ah, I can, you know, that those little mistakes you make, you fixate so much on them. Yeah. I was like, you know what, dude? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be like my best, my number one yeah, fan, you know? For sure. And the night before, like, I was just like, you know what, dude? Like, you worked so hard for this, like, just go. Like, yeah. be able to look back on this and be like, I gave everything. Yeah. And it was actually incredible what having that mentality did for me the next day. Yeah. Waking up just like, I'm gonna choose to feel confident today. That's great. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of times that's hard to do yeah. as a professional too. When like I had family here who hasn't got to see me play in how yeah. long? I got friends here, my brother, like oh, girlfriend, man. like people who never get to see me play. It's a yeah. lot of pressure, bro. It is. You know, and, and I just decided like, dude, I do this every day. Like it's time to, to eat. And yeah. that's how I felt and I'm happy to hopefully show it a little bit of that too. It definitely cool. showed and and I'm not just saying this just because I'm a fan of you as a player and like a content creator, but you contributed in multiple aspects. I mean, serving, blocking and attacking passing and setting, like you, you are a multi- let's not, let's not overstep the bound, I don't think I've passed <laughs> anything, but yeah. And I think you're just a middle that just willing to do all that. You're not afraid to just jump in. I think it showed tonight, I mean, you served great tonight. Well, and I, I'm gonna jump on that really quickly. It's also, you wouldn't believe it, but like I'm 6'5", I'm mm -hmm. and for my position, I'm undersized. I'm yeah. the smallest guy on my team, I'm the smallest yeah. guy on most teams I've been on. Yeah. And if you wanna succeed at the highest level, you have to be good at everything else if yeah. you're small. You have yeah. to be quick, you gotta be fast on the ball. Yeah. You gotta be, for me, it's about having a lot of different variety offensively. It's yeah. about having a serve that's a little different, a little funky, yeah. and like, as I grew in my career, I started to realize like, these are my strengths actually. Yeah. I'm not the seven foot guy who's gonna stand there and make one move and block balls, like that's just not me. Yeah. I gotta be really good at reading, really patient, yeah. and try to find, and, and this is what I think the beauty of the national team is, is yeah. it just forces you to have to level up every yeah. year. And so that's what I try to do, and luckily I'm surrounded by guys who really push me and really love me, and goes both ways and it's, it's a really beautiful environment to be in. Now you're not the first person that said that everyone independently has said the national team culture is really special and that yes everyone's trying to compete for a spot but everyone's feels supported to be their best yeah. and I definitely see that there's yeah. a lot of joy in your guys's team. We, we saw the other day our average age is like 31 on this team mm -hmm. which is rare for us because I feel like in the past it's been throwing a lot of new guys in for VNL stuff and yeah. Um, which I think is great, and every opportunity you get on the national team is a big deal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's also nice to feel like we have a really veteran, mature group here, yeah. and being able to have that confidence in different positions is like gonna yeah. be huge for us. Awesome. Yeah. Join our Elevate Yourself membership community to help you stay motivated on your own journey and connect with me on a deeper level. You'll receive exclusive perks for members only, such as loyalty badges and custom emojis that you can use when commenting on videos, behind the scenes content, members only polls, early access to special videos, and live stream Q&A sessions where you can ask me anything you want. Being a member is also a great way to connect with other hardcore fans and directly support this channel so I can keep making great content for you. So click that join button below and take your Elevate Yourself experience to the next level today. Last question, so yeah. kind of moving forward, um, what is your plan to kind of try to level up and try to fight for, I'm assuming USA only takes like three medals, right? For we'll the take Olympic? three for the Olympics, yeah. Four okay. to the finals in oh, okay. good downs, but yeah, three to okay. the Olympics. Yeah. Um, like what are you working on or maybe trying to maintain to make sure you're at your top level and maximize your chance of securing a spot? Great question. Uh, kind of what we talked about earlier, like really trying to understand your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. And I know for myself, like 
I got a lot of things that are, for me are weaknesses and in my mind they're huge deals and maybe you can't tell on the outside, but like like I'm trying to work on commit blocking. I need, I need to be a better commit blocker, at least touching balls. Yeah. Um, I serve too, It's this week was pretty good and mm -hmm. I'm very happy with it, but it's gotta be more consistent, putting more pressure at a, a higher percentage. Yeah. Um, and just blocking, just like being disciplined. It's the tough part is like, again, when you're overseas and you have eight months to find rhythm yeah. with a set or rhythm yeah. with the yeah. game, it's just so much easier. And yeah. um, here it's like, you just get flipped and you get thrown in, <laughs> you flip the coin and you're like, is it my That's night tough. or not? You know, so um, yeah. just to be honest with you, I've been recently kind of just struggling with some mental health kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I'm lucky to have, for example, Michael Ma as my roommate. Oh, nice. And so happy to have someone who's just such a positive guy and such a great reminder of like, don't stop getting better, you know? Yeah. Because I know for myself, like, and for a lot of these guys, you get to a level where it's like, all I gotta do is stay healthy and stay out of my own way and yeah. I'm good. Yeah. And it's easy to get complacent yeah. with your success. Yeah. And what I realized is like, I gotta be able to be content whether I go to the Olympics or not, whether I'm starting or not. That's tough. But like, can I get better? And there's a lot of times, truthfully, where I'm like, I should be playing. Yeah. Or like, I'm good enough, or I'm good at this, just give me a chance. Yeah. And I've kind of recently switched my mindset to like, let's just keep getting better. Yeah. Let's focus on getting better and when it's my time, like, let's choose to be confident. Let's yeah. choose not to, to build too much pressure in my own head and like, just enjoy what I'm doing. And that's what I try to do on social media too. Yeah. Like, it's nice to have balance. Like this game is as serious as it is a joke, to be honest, you uh -huh, know, like uh -huh. existentially for me, I'm like, so it's, it's when it's time to train, like train and when it's not like, let's have fun. Let's try yeah. to grow the game. That's why I love what you're doing, bro. Like it's really inspiring for me to see what you're doing. Thank and you. uh, yeah, I hope to continue to be a part of the, the growth in our sport. For you know? sure. Yeah. For sure. We're going to go together and like you've, you've gotten everything you deserve. And I really mean that like just seeing you watch you from Bay to Bay, following your collegiate career to just being like getting a start in a, in a big stage like this. Yeah. And I just, you're just gonna get, continue to get better. So. Word, man. Word, right. I'm super happy to continue to have opportunities, dude. Stay healthy. The gods, dude, they're watching me. You will, you will. Solid. Thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, baby. Good to see you. You too.